Coach Rod from Functional Flex. Thanks for being here, checking out my channel. Please make sure you subscribe. I got tons of awesome, cool, great content that you can't get anywhere else. YouTube is the only place I'm doing it, so please make sure you subscribe. And if you get anything out of the video, please share it for me. Help me spread the word. I'm not monetizing these or anything. I just want to get more, you know, more people with the right information. So thanks again for being here, checking this out. Today, what I want to talk about is uh, improvement season training versus contest prep training, okay? And so kind of how do these things differ? How are they different in general for what kind of things you should be doing with your training and what kind of things you should be doing with your nutrition, right? Because I feel like a lot of people don't really understand what the actual difference is, like why your goals are different, how things are different. A lot of people might have been in improvement season for a long time and they don't, or off season. I call it improvement season, by the way, because I don't believe in the off seasons. But either way, a lot of people People might have been in off season or improvement season for a long time. A lot of people might have been in prep for a long time, done a bunch of shows, and now they don't really understand the differences and the focuses and what you should be doing in each phase of your training. Okay, so I kind of want to go over that, talk about it just a little bit. This is obviously a video for competitors. All right, so what we're talking about is uh, improvement season training. How does it work? What is the goal of an improvement season, okay? So an improvement season is two things to me. You either need to get to a certain spot before you can go and compete, or you have just competed, you've gotten some feedback, and now you need to apply such feedback, or maybe you have you know other lifestyle stuff going on, you're not gonna be able to compete for a while. So you're doing now what is called an improvement phase. That's why I call it improvement phase, because that's what you're doing. You're improving your physique to be able to step onto stage Stage, either for the first time or either for the next time, right? And that's basically the, the easiest way to sum it up. Contest prep is different. Contest prep type training means you are actively in the action of preparing for a competition. You have a specific comp date, it is set, it is closed probably within 12 to 16 weeks, and now you are dialing in the physique to be able to step on stage and compete and do your best, okay? You might be doing that for multiple shows. Either way, you're always going for the same goal, training to actually get on stage in a short-term manner, all right? So basically, improvement season is long-term, uh, contest prep type training is short term because you're in that, that window. So how do these differ? Okay, improvement season training is dedicated towards actually attaining the right physique to be able to prep to go to stage. Okay, let me say that again. Improvement season training is designed to attain the correct physique to be able to prep and then go to stage. Okay, those are two different things. A lot of people think that you can make a stage physique during prep. You cannot. You are always going to be usually dieting down, dialing in, coming lean enough, getting to the right aesthetics, conditioning, posing, all that to compete, but you're actually not in a zone where you're building extra muscle. You're building a bunch of muscle here and there. You're doing all these different things, right? You're actually in a spot where you're just dialing in for the competition, getting ready, prepping, in other words, but the improvement season is where you make actual all the muscle gains and all the structural and shape changes, okay? So there, that's what the improvement season is for. The improvement season is for significant successfully boosting your metabolism through doing things like a reverse diet, getting your calories high enough into a caloric surplus that you can add quality muscle mass to your frame. And this doesn't matter which division you compete in, if it's bikini, if it's bodybuilding, you have the same goal. You need to build the right shape, the right size, and the right proportions in the off season. That is where you can make muscle gains. In a contest prep season, we're dieting. We're in a caloric deficit. You can't grow muscles in a caloric deficit. You gotta be in a caloric surplus to grow muscles. So the improvement phase is where we do that. That's where you can build the shoulders, build the quads, you know, build whatever muscles you need to do specific for your physique to then eventually go into a prep phase and come in and do great at your competition. So when you're in your improvement season, you do what I have athletes do, and not everybody does this, but what I do is what I call reverse diet. Okay, and so you're reversing your diet, your calories, you're trying to get your calories higher, adding in specific macronutrients over time, trying to make sure that you can, you know, try to get your calories as high as possible, put on as little body fat as possible, and make sure that you can add quality muscle mass. A lot of people do the off season, right? And they start eating tons of pizzas, drinking beers, slamming back cakes, doing whatever they can. They gain 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds in the off season. And now when they want to go to prep, they're gonna have an extremely hard time doing that. You can actually successfully do a reverse diet where you have a flexible diet, you can eat the foods you enjoy in the correct amounts, build quality 
muscle mass without adding a ton of body fat. And so that's always the ideal. That's why I encourage people to do. That's uh, for a lot of times people that are first time competitors, they've already been dieting and they didn't even really know it. Like they're not in a spot to build muscle. And especially for people that have done shows, you've been dieting either way to go into your competition. So now you need to reverse that diet, get the calories in, get your hormones good, get your metabolism good, make sure everything fires. And when you prep, you can actually do a lot higher calories and still burn fat, look great, and not have to have a hardcore prep where you're doing two hours of cardio a day and you know all the miserable stuff there so improvement season phase you are building the correct shape the correct size the correct proportions correct muscular structure to then go and do a prep and compete okay so improvement season is a reverse diet improvement season is muscle building that's the best way to think about it in the most simple sense I could go on forever about all the different ways you can do it how you could do it what you should be doing with it but that is the most simple sense you're doing a reverse diet or you're at least not on a caloric deficit and you're trying to attain the right proportions by building muscle now contest prep here's where this differs contest prep Again, we're leaning out, we're dialing in, we're getting ready for the stage. So now, you're in a caloric deficit. So before over here in improvement season, calories are up, over here calories are down. And the reason for it being is we're burning fat, all right? While you do this, by default, you will burn some muscle mass. There's nothing you can do. Like you will burn some muscle mass, you're gonna lose a little bit. So hopefully you did the appropriate improvement season, right? You built enough muscle, that you can actually afford to lose a little bit here, burn that fat and still look great and do good at your show. That's always the goal, right? That's what we're aiming to do. That's what the whole point improvement season is. If you attained, if you did that improvement season right, you got your calories high enough and you attained the group proportions. Now going into contest prep, you can have higher calories, burn as little muscle as possible and go into the competition. You cannot, however, build muscle in the contest prep phase because we're in a caloric deficit. When you're in a caloric deficit, your body will burn fat. Your body's going to shrink. It's gonna get smaller. That's how it works. You can't cheat science. You can't build muscle while you're in a caloric deficit. It just will not work. It's not possible. It's not anatomically, humanly, whatever way wizardry possible, okay? So you're gonna be burning fat. You're gonna also be leaning in to get ready for the stage. So as you do this, this phase, you're dedicated towards doing more, you know, high rep training, maybe some cardio. You're doing things that are gonna get your heart rate up to help assist you in burning fat. Because basically, over in the improvement phase, you're lifting a lot heavier, you're probably lifting in lower rates, we're building muscle, right? Over here, we're not trying to build muscle, we're trying to lean out. So we do more cardio if we need it, we're, doing, we're definitely dieting, you're doing higher reps, whatever it takes to get that heart rate up, keep burning, keep working, keep going through the whole phase and get ready for the stage, right? So again, that's the more short-term window. You know, most of the time you're doing 12, 16 week prep. Some people do longer, depends on where you're at. If you're a pro, whatever, you might need more, you might need less. A lot depends on how you did that off season, improvement season, right? But basically, you're going into prep, you're dieting in, it's a short-term goal. You're going there to get to the stage. You're leaning out, you're working on your shape. You're especially working on things like your posing, your presentation, etc. all the way up till show day. And then you hit the stage, okay? And these are two cycles, because after the stage is done, now you either need to continue that prep phase into another show, or improvement season. And you do this by, well, a lot of times, what's going on in your life, okay? Do you have the finances, the time, the lifestyle balance, everything to do more shows? Uh, is your health in a good spot? How did you do at your last show? What do the judges think, right? What was your feedback from the judges? What does your coach think? All these things are important into deciding if you're gonna do another show or if it's time for improvement season. And when you do an improvement season, the way the training and things like that differ is gonna be you're gonna train less in the improvement season, as crazy as that sounds, right? You're gonna train less. You're gonna train hard, but less frequently, so you can grow, you can build. You're gonna do you know, lower reps, heavier weights, etc. You're trying to gain strength, gain size, build muscle, build that shape, and then in an improvement phase, you're training five, six, sometimes seven days a week, just going at it, longer workouts, longer duration, shorter workouts over here in an improvement phase. Because again, it's two totally different goals. We're either trying to build muscle and get the right shape, or we're trying to prep, lean out, and that's it. And so basically, I just kind of want to make this video to break this down for you, to kind of like hopefully give some people some insight into like, 
what you need to be doing in each phase of your training. And that's also what you need to remember. These are phases. You can't just prep all year, every year for three years and expect to get better. Because as you do it, you're actually not going to get better, right? Like you're not going to be able to build the muscle to attain the better physique, to get the better proportions, to get the better shape, size, everything you need to compete. You got to have the balance of doing both. You need to know when it's the right time to do an improvement phase and when it's the right time to prep and keep prepping. You got to choose your shows. You got to base everything. I mean, a lot of it comes down to your life style for sure a lot of it is your lifestyle a lot of it's what the judges tell you the judges say hey you know what you need to build some serious muscle well it would be a mistake to then try to go do another competition and think you're gonna place better if the judges say you need to build muscle take an improvement season build some muscle right and again a lot of this comes down to the coach make sure you're having the right coach and they give you the right feedback and they're pushing in the right direction so you can make the right choices and do your best prep do your best improvement season do your best overall experience right your overall journey your fitness journey your bodybuilding journey is going to be a good one because you have each phase dedicated towards what you need when you need it and how you're going to get there so hopefully it's cleared up some ideas for you you get a better idea of like how improvement season works and how contest actual prepping works why they're different why you need to do different things and if you don't how it can be a major mistake so please share the video thank you for watching please subscribe too if you didn't yet coach ride is out